Prime the oxygenator. Do not start cardioplegia pump until arterial pump is on. Once primed, move over to the cardioplegia side. Arterial pump flow must always exceed cardioplegia pump flow. Place the blood pump head inside the roller. Leave the cardioplegia pump head outside the roller. Start running the blood pump to fill the cardioplegia delivery system. Since the plegia tube is outside the roller, you can prime the plegia line backwards with the blood pump pressure. Once the plegia line is primed and clamped, to keep the ends clean, you can spike into the sodium chloride bag or if you are priming in the theater, you can spike directly into the cardioplegia bag. Once spiked, before releasing the clamp, roll the plegia pump into the pump. Continue priming the plegia set with a very low flow. Fill the plegia set gently. When the fluid reaches the top, increase the blood pump flow. Quickly release the plegia outlet clamp to fill the outlet line. Start de-airing the pressure isolator. Once de-aired, connect it to the pressure monitoring system. To make sure the pump tubing is in the right direction, physically feel the tube and check in and out directions. Once fully primed, make sure the plegia pump is slave to the main arterial pump. Also confirm the cardioplegia pump is slave to the blood pump. Confirm the blood to plegia ratio. Standard configuration is 4 to 1. That is 4 parts of blood and 1 part of concentrated cardioplegia. Once happy with the priming and slave setting, do not stop arterial pump until cardioplegia pump is off. Stop the blood pump on the plegia side. This will automatically stop the plegia pump. Double check the plegia pump is stopping. Now the system is ready to infuse blood cardioplegia. Finally, switch the main arterial pump off. Switch the three-way tap to the monitoring side. This ensures you have fully primed and slaved the hot lung machine and are ready to go on bypass safely.